Hello everybody, I thought today it would be so fun to do a little tour of my sewing area, kind of a sewing room. Um, it is kind of a mixed use room because my kids do art and homework in here. It's also like a computer area and then all of the sewing stuff. I'll try to go as quick as possible because this video could get very long. So if you have any questions, like you want more details about something, ask me in the comments below and this will be kind of like a big brief overview with all of the different sections. So I've been sewing for years and years and my sewing room changes every four to five years. So I thought it would be fun to show you what I have currently, like how it is. I actually will even show you another layout that I sometimes switch to at the very end of the video because I do have the dream box, which you can see back here. The dream box is made by Create Room and it <clears throat> is a very like flexible, versatile piece of furniture has tons of storage. I cannot wait to show you my sewing room. So I just thought I'd kind of walk you in just to show you. So this is what you saw before back here. This is where all of my fabric is stored. Some of my books and my Cricut maker right there is my ironing station. Then I have a table where I do cutting and my kids sit and do art and crafts. And then all my sewing stuff is over here. If you turn right here around this corner, this is actually my computer. This is where I do all my pattern design and all of the writing, all the extra stuff you need to do to have a business and a blog. Majority of my work is spent right here on this computer. I have this nice chair that's comfy because 75% of my work is done here at the computer and not actually at my sewing desk. I will show you this side first. So in here, this is all of my knit fabric organized by type over here. This is all of my woven fabric organized by type and you know, so I keep everything folded in here. I usually try to buy fabric per project instead of having just a bunch around cause it makes me anxious. Like it makes me feel like I have so much I have to do. So I prefer to only buy a little bit, but since I do have a business, I kind of do have to have some on hand for when I'm creating and sewing. So I do have more than I would like, but a fair amount of it gets used quickly because of creating patterns and tutorials. Down below, So on this side is knit fabric scraps organized by type and it's also like t-shirts and sweaters, stuff that I can refashion. So it's all of like knit refashion stuff. So that is all the way, like everything's organized but in boxes or sections in here. And then this side is my woven scraps or my woven things to refashion. Um, I also, this is the kids sewing machine in here and then all of the scraps that they can use. So they keep that in here because they don't get it out as, they're not sewing nearly as much as I am, but they know that this is accessible and they can get it whenever they want. Whenever they want to sew, they just get it out and sew and then they put it away. This is the main table where I do most of my cutting and filming and all that kind of stuff. It, I can put two cutting mats on it or just a small one, whatever I need. Um, this is also where the kids do crafts and their sewing projects and their homework and anything. So this is kind of a multi-use table. And then over here, this is my ironing station. So usually I only need to iron a small thing. And so I have this wool mat, like this ironing mat, and then this iron that I use. And that is where most of my ironing done is I also have a big ironing board, but I keep it stored away over there in the behind my dream box because I only get it out when I'm like ironing a big piece of fabric or maybe pants or something like that. But most of the time I can get everything done with just this wool mat. Also inside, this is like not a pretty version. So you can see better. This is not as pretty in here. This is kind of my messier one. And you can see these doors are black because um, these are all Billy bookcases from Ikea. And these are black because I haven't seen Billy bookcase doors in stock at our Ikea for like years. So I have black now and 
I plan to eventually go to white, but um, I'm kind of stuck right now until that comes. But I needed to cover this because it's messy inside, so I chose black for now. Um, so there's an extra iron in here, there is a sleeve ironing board, all of like my hem tape and ironing like hem boards like there's just a bunch of different ironing things I have in here I have all of my easy presses in here and the easy press mats I also have some extra like sewing projects I've done that sometimes I get out for pictures or I use it for storage so those kind of hang out in here too sometimes kind of depends on how it's going I wanted to give you a better view of this corner. So that's the fabric. And then I have all of this storage. This actually mostly holds like random files or like business files. Like, And this is where all of the kids craft stuff is. So there's like coloring books and paint and Play-Doh and markers, all that kind of stuff. So I keep that in there so that they can color and do that whenever they want. Now this is an angle where you can see my dream box. This is my chair I sit in. This is the table. This is almost always up with this leg. I also always have this up. I almost always have like one project in process or coming or something that I kind of have out right here. I often put a cutting mat right here. So then if I need to cut something quick, then I can use that. Then I have the sew station. So this is the whole sew station and my machine is here. I will show you the storage in a second. I'm just kind of showing you a big overview. Then I have my two machines and then all of these boxes and everything is full of storage. So let me just go through each section to show you. So here I, this is kind of like the inside of the sew station. So right here I have my fabric scissors and this actually holds all of my sewing machine feet, has safety pins, different things like that. Um, this is a pill bottle, but I use that to keep anything sharp that I'm throwing away so it doesn't like hurt anyone who's like taking out the trash. Then I have, in here is my wax, my Taylor's chalk and my um, elastic and Velcro. Down here I have more elastic. Um, I found that I needed elastic close to my machine. I use that the most out of any of my notions, so I like that having nearby. Then over here on this side, this is all of my thread. You can see this can come out. Up here I have sewing machine needles, bobbins, snips, scissors, stuff like that. And then all of my thread I keep in here. I organize it by color. If you look over, these are my two machines here and I keep some of my big, big cutting mats back here, kind of behind this shelf, kind of behind this shelf right here. Um, I hang some scissors, there's some hooks. So I put some scissors and some rulers back there. And then up here, I, this is all my serger thread because I'm using it with my cover stitch and my serger. It was worth it to have it nearby right here. And then up here, this is like random notions like clips and D-rings and patches, stuff that I don't use very often, but I need them to be stored somewhere. So then moving around the corner to this section here, these are all of my paper patterns, like patterns that you buy at a fabric store that are, they come in an envelope. So I have it organized by like kids and women's. This is all of the women's printed PDF patterns that I have that fit me. So I keep them in large envelopes because it's a thicker paper so it's harder to fold. So I keep them all in here. Down below I have another box which it would be a little tricky for me to get during the video, but I have another box that looks just like this that has all, it has all of the PDF patterns for um, the kids' patterns that I've printed out in different sizes. So then um, I don't reach for those as often, so I keep them down there. And then throughout here, this is like zippers and beads and random stuff like that. And then in here, I actually keep like backgrounds or the vinyl things I use like f for photos and video, I have some on this side and actually some on this side. So I keep them rolled up in this little section. Then right here in the middle, I have all of these boxes. So I have like my rotary cutter. I keep my rotary cutter kind of hidden because I don't want my kids to actually get to it. I just think that 
that's more dangerous than scissors because they know how to use scissors, but they don't know how to use a rotor cutter. So I kind of hide that. But then I have my snaps, my buttons, lace, yarn, like serger stuff. Um, I also have like silk fabric, specifically felt. This is my glue gun. This is like shipping bags when I randomly have to ship something for my business. And those are like works in progress or like old projects I've done that I save for pictures. And then I have old business stuff in here. I actually should go through these two baskets because I don't remember what's in there. And then I have this workspace right here that I use and I put a light right here um, to help illuminate this. This is my power docket place. So this button, if I turn it off, it turns off all of my machines and everything all at once. But then when I turn it on, you could hear the machine turned on, the lights turned on, the lamps turned on, everything turned on. So it's nice to have one button to turn on everything. It makes it a little bit easier. Underneath this table, which this is usually where there's a big table that comes out for the dream box that you can like fold up inside. And I found it was kind of hard to get to the stuff underneath and I needed a different layout with my machine. So I took it off, I just store it behind the dream box. Down here I have all of my other notions like bias binding and trims. I have ribbon, like these are all thread spools that I've saved that I want to do something with, I haven't decided. I keep my tripods in here. Um, there's a laminator down here that I use randomly sometimes. And then these three bottom boxes, they're just white boxes. I use that to like, when I'm planning ahead with projects, then I'm like, I buy stuff ahead of time. So then I keep it in there. And that's for the stuff that's like, coming sooner than anything I have in my fabric shelf. The last section is this whole section. So these are my um, background pieces. In here I have like measuring tapes and paint brushes and crochet hooks. Just honestly random stuff in here that I don't use very often. These top three boxes, this is all props I use for photos. This is all my interfacing. This is all my fusible fleece. This is all camera stuff. And then from here, all the way down, this is all Cricut stuff. So like there's leather, there's iron on vinyl, there's specialty iron on vinyl, there's glitter iron on vinyl, infusible ink, um, blanks to put projects on. So this is just all of the Cricut stuff I have um, in there. And then over here, these are all my Cricut mats. This is the um, bright pad to like when I'm weeding iron on vinyl, these are all my um, Cricut tools. And then I have pom poms that I either use for projects or pictures. And then up there, I randomly have paint that, it's actually probably more for my kids that they use because it's, I don't, I almost never use paint for sewing. I also have the um, which you can see right here. These are the I don't the speakers that you can get to go with your dream box and they're speakers that connect by Bluetooth to your device. So then I can have music in here. There's two, so there's one over here and one over there. So then I turn on music or an audiobook. The best thing about the dream box is that it is so like you can choose what you want to do with it and how you want it to be. It's kind of flexible. So this is another layout that I sometimes do where I do put the table back on and I have my two machines here, my serger and my cover stitch. And then over here I have my sew station and my regular sewing machine. That makes it so I have a little more room over here. If I were doing like a big quilt or something, it could go back onto the bench. It's great to be able to choose this layout when I need it. I still kind of like that L shape. Um, when I need it because then I can switch back and forth between my machines. So that is my sewing room Thank you so much for coming through my tour. It was so fun to talk about everything Hopefully you were able to get an idea of how my sewing room works Please let me know if you have any questions about specifics of the dream box or the Billy bookcases or my desk Anything that you have questions about let me know in the comments so I can answer them check out these playlists with all the other sewing room stuff I have done and beginner sewing projects. 
Thank you for watching my video. I hope you have a wonderful day.